In our demo today, we are going to discuss how we can pay for items, for example, on our point of sale screen, and we may want to uh, pay for them later or pay for them now. And this is the procedure on how to do that. Simply bring up your point of sale screens. I can sell maybe a beer, click on Budweiser, Bud Light, and if the customer would like to pay for his bill right now, we simply click on pay. And we are presented with the cash screen, the actual type of money that they are going to pay with, and we can pay with cash, check, credit card. If we had a Visa card, MasterCard, American Express, Discover, we could swipe the card and the card would be processed if you are using the PC Charge software. If the card reader is not working, you could manually insert the credit card number here, all of the credit card information and process it as if the card reader was broken or sometimes the customer's magnetic stripe on his card has failed. But in this example, the customer gave us a $20 bill, we hit $20, and then we collect this in the bottom drawer because we have two cash drawers. Does the customer want a receipt? I will select no. And this is how you create a item and sell the item and pay for the item immediately. And now what we're going to do is talk about how a customer would like to order some drinks and or food, and we are going to pay for these items later. So for example, let's go into our snack bar. Let's order a salad, a Greek salad. Let's order some fried chicken. Let's order some beers, five beers, and we're now going to pay. Now you click on pay because you need to tell the system at this point I'm going to collect this money at a later time. The other feature that you might want to use is for collect later would be if you want to split the bill among three or four people or two people. It's up to you. So now we can click on collect later and if I do not want to pay for these items at this point I can always hit cancel and they are sent to the screen of non-closed payments. You can see here we're on non-closed payments and in the restaurant here for $27.45 I have um, uh, to pay for that, pay for those items later. A an example of this would be you want to let some parents buy some food and drink and you're going to let them pay for all of this later maybe on a birthday party for example all the kids are bowling and you want to collect the money later along with the party bill, the food bill, the bill from the pro shop, whatever it is that you want to collect later. So this is how you would pay for it later and now I can go back to my point of sale screen and make some more sales but as of this point we still need to collect the money for that sale. And now that we're have uh, now that we have sent a a sale a pending sale which has not been collected it still sits in the collect later screen so now let's pretend that the parents are going to order some more food because they're going to pay uh, when the when all the kids are done bowling so the parents are not bowling they're actually just sitting behind the lanes uh, they're maybe in a party room have a birthday party cake whatever the case may be so let's order out some more items we're going to click on pay, but this same group of people says said to us, we're going to pay this later. So we're going to hit collect later, and I'm going to hit cancel because what I'm really on this screen here is it's a collect later screen, but it allows me to pay individually. So at this point, we're just going to click on cancel so that we can send this item to the pay later screen. So now we have two items here. There's actually four, but these are from other demos that we did a while ago. But for today's demo, we did two pay laters, $27.45 and $6 from the restaurant. And the owner was currently signed on. So we're going to select both of these items, and we're going to pay for both of those at the same time. We're going to click on Collect in Bottom Drawer, because that's the name of our cash drawer. We click here. And now what we have is a screen where we can divide out which items are going to be paid by which person. Maybe we have two people that want to pay for all this. So you have one parent that says, you know what, I'll pay for all the food and somebody else is going to pay for all the beers. So I can remove the beer items off of this 
Pay Now screen, and you can see that it's $18.95. I can click on Tender, and this parent happened to give us $20. We owe them $1.05 and change, collect it in the bottom drawer, and no, they don't want a receipt. And now we're taken back to that same item that still remains to be paid for. So the other parent says, I'll pay for, I'll pay for the beers. So now we click on Tender. And this person has also given me a $20 bill to pay for the beer. We click on Collect in Bottom Drawer. And he does not want a receipt. And as you know, uh, if you ever need a receipt, you can always go to the Cash Register screen because now the customer says, um, you know what, I do need a receipt. We can click on the receipt history, and this will be our very last transaction, always at the top of the list. I can highlight it, and I can click on this button right here, and it will print out one additional copy of that receipt. Okay?